Hello, I'm Danny Ramadi, a pharmacist since 1998, graduated from Texas Southern University School of Pharmacy in Houston, Texas, back in 1998. It's been a while. Anyhow, I'm going to discuss with you the important, uh, why it's so important to calculate the uh, dosage of opioid drugs, as you know. So, I'll change this color for you. Opioids. These are the drugs that are derived from, uh, there are morphine derivatives. So morphine deri derivatives. Uh, examples of opioids are codeine, hydrocodone, Oxycodone, morphine itself, which is comes as morphine sulfate, morphine sulfate. Uh, so these are morphines. Now the calculation of a morphine dosage is very important uh, in a national sample of Veteran uh, Health Administration. Patients with chronic pain receiving opioids from 2004 to 2009, uh, patients who died of the opioid overdose were prescribed average of 98 morphine milli equivalents. This is a calculation they do for the amount of morphine that you use per dosage. And so the 98 morphine milli equivalent caused the fatal uh, situation on average and other patients were just receiving 48 so the one that didn't harm them they were receiving 48 MME and the one that was uh, they was fatal they received 98 MME so this was safer now um, Let's go back here. I want to show you there is a study that these are the information I'm providing you is uh, also on CDC, and I'm using that as a reference. Um, dosage at uh, about 50 milli morphine milli equivalent, so 50 morphine milli equivalent. Dosages above that amount uh, increase risk of overdose by two folds. So dosages of 50 milli morphine milli equivalent increases the risk increases the risk of overdose by two folds. Now, in order to find out what exactly we mean by 50 morphine milli equivalent or 90 morphine milli equivalent, there is some examples. Um, and there are uh, some online calculators that you can put the medication. Say, if you have hydrocodone, this is a common more, uh, prescription drug that is actually scheduled too, but is very commonly prescribed. So I use the hydrocodone 10 325. So if you take, uh, if the prescription says take one tablet by mouth uh, every four hours, that makes it six tablets per day. So, and This 10 milligram of hydrocodone equals to 10 morphine milli equivalent. So times six, it gives you 60 morphine milli equivalent. So may, you may want to call the doctor and see if they can lower it to either uh, below 50 or the max 50 MME. Now, there are other medicines that, as you 
as you were told, there is a calculator online. There are several sites that provide the calculator. You can put the dosage, and it gives you the morphine milli equivalent. And as I said, you have to stay around this uh, figure, which is 50, to be on the safe side. And always check for patients to make sure uh, they're not multi-dosing or taking different medicine that increases the chance of overdose for opioids. Thanks for watching this video, and please uh, either subscribe or like, that way I know uh, that I can make better videos in the future and improve. Uh, your op opinion is appreciated, that way I can improve the videos. Thank you.